This is Brighton's finest. Bringing the artists closer to you. Juice. I am speaking to you both, Stephen and Adun, from hers yeah. on the fourth day of a nine-date tour. And you've done your hometown, Liverpool, as well as shows in Glasgow and Leeds. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Good fun? Really good, yeah. We've definitely noticed a, like, a slight shift in the gigs this time around for some reason. I think it's probably like the collection of songs has been out for a while now. So Merch is actually shifting and yeah. people actually want us to like scribble stuff, which yeah. is pretty really nuts. Wow. Seems to, yeah, it seems yeah. to be like a pretty evident fan base now, which is so flattering. Yeah. Yeah, it must yeah. be hard to comprehend that. I was only thinking the other day, some of the biggest celebrities in the world, to walk around knowing that pretty much the whole of the Western world knows you. That's going to be a yeah. weird thing to try and yeah. comprehend. Yeah, that's going to be surreal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hopefully we're out of that. <laughs> I think we're out of that. <laughs> for, now, but for now. Yeah, I mean, you never know. We might just explode out of nowhere and uh, have to start ordering food. Yeah, yeah <laughs> all the time. Into like a country house somewhere, like in the woods of France. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Um, you both come to Brighton on um, the seventeenth of November, which is a Friday night, to play the uh, Hope and Ruin. Yeah, yeah. Going to be a great show, that especially being it's a Friday night. We love Brighton as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's your relationship with Brighton? Because I can remember last time I spoke to Steve, um, you having a particular liking for a buffet Indian restaurant in the middle of town. Yeah, we were trying to think of what the name of it was, but uh, we can't remember. But it's like a little green building tucked into this corner next to like the big street parallel to the beach. Yeah, yeah. Man, that place. Good. We were already excited about going there. Talking <laughs> <laughs> about it that street. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, other than that place, it's like our fourth time in Brighton, I think. Last time was The Great Escape, which was sick. So it's just so, such a like, pleasant atmosphere everywhere, you know? Like, everywhere you go, it's just nice. And then you've got the water and the waves coming in when you're, like, sleeping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very nice. We always have fun in Brighton. That's our relationship with it, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, cool and fun. <laughs> The last time I saw you in Brighton was when you were supporting Happiness, a wicked show. Um, but you also did have a third member with you, one Pierce Brosnan. Oh, um, yeah. The man himself. Yeah. yeah. We might have actually suffered a little casualty on Mini Pierce uh, the other <laughs> night in Glasgow. He seemed to have been kidnapped, the Mini Pierce. But we got his big brother still with us. Yeah. He'll be coming around with us. On uh, He's on tour with us now. <laughs> so we still have seven-foot Pierce, just not two-foot Pierce anymore. Yeah. But oh maybe we'll God. have to replace him. So have you put shout-outs over social media to hunt down? <laughs> I think we're still in the grieving process, but we'll get to it on Twitter for sure. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure his people will be after him anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't leave a, a man out in the field, right? We've Not been in touch enough. with his manager over the last couple <laughs> of years. Brighton's finest. This is Juice. I've seen you guys play, know what it's about, and it's fantastic. For someone who hasn't seen you guys play, how would yeah. you describe a hers live show, and what should people expect? It's always quite a casual affair. I mean, we're usually like just lingering by the stage before we play it for some reason. I don't know why that happens, but we always just stood there waiting to get on. And then... Kind of like to make it awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the start of the show. It's a bit awkward. And I take yeah. the edge off the room a bit. And then it's just going to be uh, back-to-back, melancholy... Boisterous. Boisterous and, and yeah. pop tunes. All kinds of banter in between. Yeah. Bring Massive. your dad or bring your son and bring your daughter and bring your mother. So, like, boogie along, you know, like, what it's all about, really. Mm. Maybe a bit of heckling. Maybe, a, maybe bit a bit of heckling. Maybe a bit of, you know, banter between the, the crowd. <laughs> Do you like a bit of heckling? Yeah. What, what's yeah, yeah, been the best heckle you've witnessed? We've had a few, but there was a guy in uh, Glasgow the other night that was just screaming something and like I had to ask him to repeat it multiple times and he just kept just going just like blah, 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 kind of sound <laughs> that was good um another time we were in scotland this guy said uh get on with it we kind of had a bit of beef with that guy for a while and then <laughs> he ended up leaving the tent but that was good but we're all friends <laughs> 
quite interesting. It's just funny when you hear somebody say something, you're like, oh, what did you just say? Say that again. That was good. <laughs> and if anything, it'll just cause awkwardness, and there's nothing more yeah. funny than awkwardness. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's true. We thrive on awkwardness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you've had Songs of Hers, which is like a a greatest hits up to now and that featured a load of songs which were already out as well as some new um will yeah. we be hearing any new her songs in the near future and will you be playing any live yeah yeah sooner than you think <laughs> <laughs> right next friday right so yeah no we're definitely uh debuting testing out yeah you toe in the water we're not like 100 percent sure that these songs are going to be fully out there or not but uh we're definitely playing some new stuff at the moment yeah out and about out yeah about. well that yeah. is exciting that's good to hear <laughs> <laughs> but no plans to get a single out there put it on soundcloud i don't know if that's what people are tending to do now it's kind of a dying yeah, I mean, force isn't it soundcloud isn't definitely isn't one that we like we, we put stuff up on it but it's not our like main dog spotify is our <laughs> Our Great big daddy, job. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we're hoping 2018 to like begin debuting things. We're sweating on the guitars in between touring, trying to yeah. trying to get lots of tracks together. Wicked, wicked. Well, um, this tour takes you through November. Then there's only one more month, and you're you hit Christmas. What's a hers Christmas look like? Is it crackers around the table for you too, or is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Off to retreat, different islands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Odin usually goes home to either France or Norway for... Yeah, France this year. France this year. Yeah, boat Christmas with my, my dad's boat. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and I'm having a typical northern Christmas up in Barrow in Furness, which is definitely crackers around the table and uh, some kind of music channel counting down on the best Christmas tunes of uh, forever. Not Kerrang this time. Not Kerrang this time. <laughs> that happened one Christmas. That was awful. This is Brighton's Finest. Bringing the artists closer to you.